Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm going to be playing with some of the new Dior Holiday 2021 collection. It's the Atelier of Dreams. I picked up two quints and the blush. The blush is in the Hollow Glam shade and the two quints, one is called House of Dreams and that's number 739 and the other one is 469 and that is Atelier Doe and I'm going to use all of these products today and I'm going to do two separate eye looks. I think I'll start off with number 469 and that is Atelier Doré. That Doré means golden in French. Well, I think it does anyway. And this is a really beautiful neutral palette. The other one leans a little bit cooler, but I'm going to finish off with that palette and also use the blush then as well. So I'll open up the packaging. It's the standard quint packaging for the Dior quints. Now these quints have 7.6 grams of product in them. They come with the two applicators inside. I'm just going to remove them otherwise they're going to fall out. These quints are also made in France and I'm pretty sure the blush is made in France as well. So here is this quint. It is really beautiful. Just gorgeous neutral shades. Those of you that watch my other videos know that really neutrals are my everyday type of shades and when I saw these pop up I knew I wanted to grab them and I got all these products from Selfridges and the shipping was super quick. So today it is what is today? Today is Tuesday and I think I might have ordered these on Friday. So from UK to New Zealand that is really quick. Now also these two quints have a shelf life just like the other quints of six months from date of opening but I know that these quints last a lot longer than that so I'm not quite sure why they only have that six month time frame on them. So I'll hold it a bit closer so you can take a look. And these quints have, I think by looking at them, there are three satins, one matte, and the middle shade, the gold shade, looks like it'll probably be a uh, metallic. So I'll swatch these on my arm so you can take a look. I haven't touched or swatched either of these quints yet. So this will be the first time to see what they look like swatched on my arm. So this is swatch from left to right and top to bottom. And the last shade is that middle shade in the quint. This is a really beautiful gold. These three are satins. And this one here is a matte. I'll actually go over this one. This one is a lot more pigmented. I think it's because I use my little finger when I swatch. And sometimes it doesn't show that well. So I'll use this finger here and go over it. That's better. I had a feeling it would swatch better than that. It's a really beautiful chocolate type of shade and this one here looks like a beautiful taupe shade this one here is just sort of a light brown and this one here is more of a light gold type of color but not the yellow sort of gold that this one is so i've already got all my foundation on and powder concealer done my eyebrows, I've got the Dior Forever Bronze on as well in shade number 5. I've also got eyeshadow primer on as well, I use the MAC Paint Pot 1. So let's dive into this quint, I'm going to take my refer number 15 brush, I'm going to go into this shade here first and I'm going to put that through the crease but also take it above as well. I have hooded eyes because I have mature eyes, so I often take shades just above the 
bone here as well just so that you can see at least some of the shade when I have my eyes open otherwise sometimes it's hard to see them I'm going to take the wrapper number 14 and go into this sort of top shade here. I'm going to put this over the top of the other one in the crease and just slightly above just to give a bit of depth. These shades are blending beautifully. It's a really nice satin formula and just like the other dual quints that I've tried out recently they don't seem to emphasize any texture these are great quints for well any type of skin but I find them really good for my mature skin then I'm going to take the Sonia G this is the blender pro and I'm just going to just try and soften that out a bit these are a lot more <laughs> pigmented than I thought they would be but these shades are really beautiful. I just love neutral shades. They are such a great everyday type of shade. And if I'm just going out for the day or just wearing makeup for the sake of it, these are the type of shades that I do, I do tend to reach for. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G Worker 3. I'm going to go into this matte shade here this is a chocolate brown type of color and as usual with really the dark shades in a palette I tend to put them on the outer corner of my eye and just go over again just through the crease and just above then I'm just going to take the Chukohodo this is the blend brush and just soften this out a little bit if it tends to come down too far here later on I just tidy it up a bit just to keep that line just so it keeps the eyeshadow so that it looks like it's going upwards and not downwards because that would probably drag the look of my eye down and I want to keep it up and when your eyelids start maturing and the skin starts dropping you need to try and just give the illusion that things are still slightly lifted so I haven't put anything on my lower lash line yet I think I'll take the wrapper number three I'll go back into this shade here and put some of that on my lower lash line and I may go over with that matte shade but I'll just see how this looks first and then I'm going to use this middle shade here this is more of a metallic shade this gold one I'm going to take the Sonji this is the Builder Pro brush and I'll try it with the brush first I may have to use my finger as well but I'll just try it with the brush first and see how that goes Well, the brush just worked fine for that shade. It is really, really beautiful. I am loving this look. So the only shade I haven't used yet, and it's more of the lighter satin shade, and I'm going to use that to highlight on the very inner corner here and see how that looks. And then finally, I'm going to use the darkest, uh, the matte shade here, this chocolate brown, to line my upper lash line. I'm going to use the Hourglass number 10 brush. So I've put on my mascara now, and I think that this looks absolutely stunning. I love this quint and I haven't tried the other one yet I'm gonna to have to wash all this off in a minute so I can put the other one on and show you and it makes me sad that I actually have to remove this I'm thinking that this is going to be a really gorgeous Christmas Day eyeshadow so I know I've still got to try the other quint and there's other new holiday releases coming out but I just really love this and I think this would be really beautiful on Christmas Day 
and even for any Christmas parties that you're going to attend I love it the neutral shades really pack a punch and this gold metallic is beautiful and the fact that it went on this well with just using the brush dry and not wet and not having to use my finger just shows how really beautifully pigmented that shade is and it just looks all really beautiful and I'm really happy with it. So now sadly I'm going to have to go and wash all this off. I'll put back on concealer and eyeshadow primer and then we'll be back to take a look at the other quint. And this one is called the House of Dreams. This one is number 739 and this one is definitely a cooler looking type of palette and as with the other one as well the engraving on it or the embossing is just absolutely stunning so like before i will swatch this on my arm i'll go from top to bottom left to right and the very last shade that i swatch will be this middle one here it's a beautiful silver metallic So this one, I don't know if you can see very well, but this is a satin, it's a pale beige. This one here is a pink mauve. This is a pink mauve as well, but it's more of a deeper tone. This one is the matte, and this is a beautiful deep brown. And this one is the really gorgeous uh, metallic silver. So I've given my brushes a quick wash with the Cinema Secrets. So again, I'll start with the wrapper number 15. I'm going to go into this pale beige color here. And just like with the other quint, I'll probably do exactly the same sort of type of look with starting with the lighter shade and the deeper shade on the outer corner. But we'll see how this one goes. This one is a satin shade and it is a very pale beige. I can see it very, very lightly, but again, it's a beautiful formula and it blends out really, really easily. Then I'm going to take the wrapper number 14. I'm going to go into this shade here and put this in my crease and also just above as well. These are really beautiful, soft colors. They're just really, really pretty. Then I'm gonna take the Rafa 3 using that same shade. I'll probably go over this also with this matte shade as well since it's darker. But I'll run this shade under my lower lash line first. Then I'm gonna take the Sony G Worker 3, go into this matte shade, put this in the outer corner of my eye and again also slightly above in my crease and slightly above as well. And then with that same shade I am going to put this on my lower lash line as well using the same Rafa number 3 brush. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G, this is the Builder Pro and go into this silver metallic shade and it'll be exactly the same as the other quint so just put it through here this brush is dry and it's beautiful it's just performing just like that other quint that I used with the gold it's just really really beautiful and then I've just given the Rafa number no. three brush a wipe and I'm going to go into this lightest shade, I'll hold up a bit so you can see, this lightest shade here, this is a satin as well. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. And that is a really pretty shade. I think I, I don't often do this, but I think I'm going to put some of that shade just on my brow bone, just a small bit, and then blend it in. I'm going to use the BK Beauty it's the 206 
I quite like using this brush because it's quite fluffy and so it doesn't place down too much product. And I'm just going to blend that through a bit with the Chukahodo brush, the blend brush. And then again I'm going to line my upper lash line just using the powder. So I'll use this brown shade here, the matte one, with my Hourglass number 10 brush which I've given a wipe down on my cloth in front of me. One of the many things that I really love about the Dior Quince, and there's a few other shadows like that too, but I have quite sensitive eyes and I love it when I can use an eyeshadow to line my upper lash line. But there have been times when I've used some shadows that there is a bit too much fallout and I can find that they irritate my eyes, but I never seem to have any issues with these Dior Quince. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and put some mascara on. So I've got my mascara on now. I use the Chanel Le Volume. This one sadly is had its day. I think it's starting to dry out a bit. I've had this about three or four months and I use it a lot. So I need to buy a backup. Actually, I need to take a look. I might have a sample one in the drawer and pull it out in the meantime. And then next time I do a Chanel order, I need to get one of these. Love this mascara. Well, I really love this quint too. They're two completely different looks. And this is more of a cooler, icy look. But you can still get some beautiful depth. I think this is really pretty too. And just like the other quint, it blends like a dream. The metallics in these quints are just stunning. And they take the look from ordinary to quite spectacular. I just think they're really, really gorgeous. So let's have a look at the blush now. And this is 601 and it is called Hollow Glam. And it comes in this velvet type pouch. This has 6.7 grams of product. This is made in France as well. I'll just double check that. Yes, this is made in France. And this has a shelf life of 12 months from date of opening. They always come with a small little brush. So I'm just going to take that out. And here is the blush. It is really, really beautiful. This has, well, it is called Hollow Glam. So it is a more shinier type of blush. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like. It may even end up being quite a good highlighter or perhaps even a blush topper. But I am going to use it by itself today. I'll just hold it a bit closer so you can take a look. And it's quite interesting. It has a bit of peach, some lilac and some pink in there as well. And I don't know if you can see, but when you turn it, it almost, well, it does have a very slight purple type of shift to it as well. And again, it's got really beautiful embossing on it. So I'm going to put a swatch of this on the back of my hand. And here is the color. Now I had to do three swipes to get that payoff. So it makes me think it probably is more of a blush topper but like I said I'll still wear it by itself so you can take a look now it is got sort of it is quite glittery but it doesn't feel chunky in any way so I'm going to try using the Chukahodo it's the F03 brush first and just see how this looks when I'm moving <laughs> brush in the pan there does tend to be a little bit of fallout and it's definitely got some sparkle going there I think that this would be a really beautiful topper shade though over top of a really really soft pink blush I think it would look really really beautiful and also as a highlighter, I think it would work really well as a highlighter too. So I'm hoping that, 
I'm just putting the brush in again. I am hoping that the camera is picking it up. It is really beautiful colour. But it is, and also it is quite subtle as well. So it is one that I would wear, even though it has got glitter in it. As I said, it didn't feel chunky when I swatched it on my hand and it doesn't look chunky when I'm putting it on my face either. So that is what it's like just using it by itself. I really think it needs to go on top of a blush or just use it as a highlighter through here. It's really pretty but by itself I feel like I do need just more of a base on. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've just grabbed out of the drawer. I only want a really soft color though. I am going to use the same brush and this is the Hermes blush and this is a really beautiful soft, really soft shade. So I'm just going to put that on as well. And now that I've put that blush on, I'm going to take the Rafa 20. It's the fan brush. I'm going to go back into this Dior blush now. Really, it should be called the Dior Highlighter because that's what I think it is. So here is the final look. I've just put on a berry pink lipstick. It's a Victoria Beckham one. It's in the colour Sway. I think this eyeshadow is really, really beautiful. And between the two quints, like I was saying, they're both a completely different look. So I'm not quite sure which is my favourite one. I really loved the first one and I think that would be really stunning for Christmas Day. This one may be more... No, not really. I mean, this would be a beautiful evening one as well. It's also a really beautiful day one and either one can be smoked up or just keep it fairly subtle as well. Depends what type of color story you're looking for. This one is a really beautiful, cool type of color story and the other one is a neutral but gives a real depth to it and the gold in the other quint is really, really stunning. So it's really dependent on which color story you like. If you like both color stories, then you may wanna pick up both quints I really love both. I'm in two minds really about the blush though. I don't think it is a blush. I think it's something that you put either underneath a blush or over as a topper shade or just keep it simply as a highlighter. But in saying that, I do think the colour of it is really, really beautiful with the pinks and then you've got lilac and you've got a hint of peach in there as well. It is a really beautiful shade. But if you don't want a blush that has glitter in it, then you'll want to stay away from this blush. I mean, I will still use it. I will just use it a bit differently next time, possibly just as a highlighter or just slightly on top of a blush but I'm going to have a play around with it a bit more because I really love the color of it. I just want to see how I can make it work in some other ways as well. But overall I am thrilled with both of the Dior quints that arrived in the mail this morning. I think they are both just absolutely stunning and I'll just have to play with the blush even though that I don't think it's a blush, I think it's a blush topper or a highlight, even though it is a really pretty colour. I need to play around with it a little more and see what type of looks I can get out of it. But really beautiful products, really gorgeous colour stories. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.